manual creation of short form content can be both mentally and physically draining. I know because I've been there. But now with the use of AI, you can easily go from idea to validating that idea and just creating an entire video with just a few clicks. Whether you want your video in English. As darkness descends on Halloween night, a terrifying legend unfolds. Or maybe you want it in French. La Tour Eiffel, une icône de Paris et de la France depuis plus de 130 ans. Perhaps Spanish. Un niño valiente se embarca en una emocionante aventura para encontrar a su querido cachorro perdido. Maybe even Deutsch. 1968 errichtete die DDR die Mauer, um ihre Bürger im Land zu halten. So without wasting time, let's get right into it. The AI tool I'm talking about today is none other than Clipwise. So, Clipwise is an AI tool that basically helps you bring your stories to life with animated short form videos. So, this is the Clipwise website. I have a link to that in the description box below. And as you can see, you do not require a credit card to get started. So, you can just get started right away. Now, these are some sample videos from their website. As you can see, these videos are like really stunning. And you can get similar results for yourself very easily. To create your videos, you'll go through three very simple steps. The first one is just inputting your prompt, like basically the idea of what you want to create and choosing the style that you want. The second one, you just have to go ahead and customize the results that you get. And the third, well, just go ahead and download your video. So Clipwise has three subscription tiers. The first one is the free account and with that you get two videos. The second one is the viral toolkit and that gives you 10 HD videos without watermarks. And the third one is the viral toolkit that gives you 20 HD videos without watermarks as well. If you choose to use any of their paid subscription plans, make sure to grab your 15% discount code in the description below as well. Now, go ahead and click on create your first video. You'll be able to create an account if you do not have one. So basically, this is the home page. This is the interface that you'll see once you log in. So the first thing you'll want to do is choose your language. And from the drop down menu, you can choose either or any of these languages that are available. So I'm just going to choose English for this video. And I'm going to input a simple prompt. You're just supposed to give it basically an idea of what you want. If you're just starting out and you have no idea what you want to create, the first thing that you'll want to do is do a bit of research. You can use tools such as ChatGPT, so you can just ask it to give you a list of viral niches. And once you get the list, you can just pick a few ideas from it. And the next thing that you need to do is validate your idea. And for that, you can just use a simple tool such as one of 10. And I'll just pick the travel niche and I'm going to ask it to give me like a top of five places to visit in Bali. Once you input your prompt, just go ahead and hit generate. The next thing that you need to do is just go ahead and choose the settings that you want for your video. So for the video tone, I'll just go ahead and choose informative. Now the next thing I need to do is go ahead and choose the theme that I want. Now you can click on view all to see all the available themes for you. So uh, depending on the style that you're going for, just go ahead and choose one of the themes. So I'm going to choose the cinematic one. I feel like that would do much better with, you know, my prompt once you've selected the visual theme the next thing that you need to do is go ahead and select the video overlay that you want so in the same way you can just go ahead and click on view all to be able to see all the overlays that are available so i'm going to choose this sunlight one i feel like that one would go well the next thing you can go and choose your background music so there's quite a selection of background music that you can go ahead and choose from. So you can just listen to them all and, you know, choose the music according to the video that you're creating. The last thing that you need to do is choose a voiceover for our video. So in the same way, just click on view all. And now I'm just going to go ahead and choose one of these voices for our video. So let's just go ahead and do that. And we are just going to go ahead and generate with that. So once you've selected all your settings and everything is pitchy, the next thing you need to do is just hit next. And now the video will start to generating. Now we are going to give the tool a few minutes to come up with the components of our video. So you can go ahead and customize the caption styles of your video. I prefer to do that once the video is created. 
So our video components are ready. Basically, that's the visuals and the script. At this point, you can go ahead and go through the script. Make sure everything is pitchy. And in case there's anything that you do not like, you can actually change it at this point. But for now, let's first go to the caption style. And as you can see from the drop down menu, you can choose whether you want the caption to be at the top or at the, at the, sorry, at the bottom or center. The next thing that you can do is go ahead and change the font that you want to use. And you can also choose the color of the, you know, captions. So we're just going to leave it at yellow. So like I said, at this point, you can go ahead and edit out anything that you do not want, or maybe you can add something. All you need to do is just place the cursor where you want it and you'll be able to make any changes. Now, the same thing with the images that you've gotten, all you need to do is click on this little pencil over here and you'll be able to input your own prompt to generate the kind of image that you want. Once that's done, all you need to do is hit generate and it's going to generate a brand new image. So you can keep doing this until you get the exact image that you want that is acceptable for you. Once you're satisfied with everything, just hit next. And now the AI is going to compile all these things together. Prepare to be mesmerized by the iconic Uluwatu Temple perched majestically on a towering cliff. As you gaze upon this ancient wonder, let the breathtaking coastal views fill your soul. Immerse yourself in the verdant splendor of Tagalog rice terraces. Capture the beauty of these iconic patties, where the vibrant green hues create a mesmerizing landscape. Escape to the idyllic Gili Islands, where the crystal clear waters beckon you to explore. Snorkel amidst vibrant marine life, marveling at the playful fish and majestic sea turtle. Witness the enchantment of Tana Lot Temple, situated on a captivating seafront rock formation, as the... Now, I think those results are quite satisfactory. Let me know in the comment section what you think. To download your video, just click on download and it will download directly to your computer. So you can basically do the same process over and over when you're creating your videos. Actually, you can go ahead and input an English prompt and, you know, just have an option to get your video in a different language. For instance, you're going to input this English prompt and you're going to say that you want it in Dutch. So let's see what we get. So we're going to hit generate with this. And once you hit generate, you're going to repeat just the same exact process. At this point, you're going to choose the theme that we want. We're going to choose this elegant realism. Then we're also going to choose the overlay that we want as well as the background music. And after that, we are going to choose a, a, sorry, a voiceover. And now we hit next. So now we are going to get our script as well as the images. If there is any image you do not like, you can go ahead and regenerate it. If there is part of the script that you do not like, you can go ahead and change it at this point. Once you're satisfied, again, all you need to do is go ahead and hit next. 1968 errichtete die DDR die Mauer, um ihre Bürger im Land zu halten. West-Berlin wurde von der DDR abgeschnitten und zu einer Insel inmitten kommunistischen Territoriums. Evidently, this AI tool is just so easy to use. All you need to do is just have an idea of what you want and the rest is basically done for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.